You know that trick the magicians do when they have that napkin and they pull it out and they keep pulling it and you think it's over and you keep pulling it and pulling it. That's literally what he, a visual representation of what healing looks like. Like no word of a lie. Once you think that you're over with, once you keep pulling and pulling, it, there's no end to it. There's no end to it what's up my love welcome back to your favorite spirituality channel on youtube my name is six and if you are new here welcome 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 and if you are a returning subscriber what's up my love always remember to like comment subscribe turn on them post notifications and just you know rock with me rock with me today is day four of this 30 day challenge that i'm doing providing value today's video is about starting your spiritual journey somebody hit me up on TikTok asking, how do they begin their spiritual journey? First, I wanted to commend you and everybody who has this question. If you are finding this video, if you're watching this video, you're most likely wondering the same thing. Like, how do you start your spiritual journey? Um, I just want to give you your flowers first. I just want to give you your praises. It is kind of intimidating to start understanding, to start realizing that you... Um, are coming to awareness you are coming to yourself and i think it's so beautiful i think it's so so <laughs> clap it up for your fucking self here go your flowers 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 i am throwing you flowers um you know and it's kind of scary to first understand that you know you are aware and you are on this journey and you are trying to be better and you're trying to learn more and that is fucking beautiful so but I did want to debunk the fucking rumors. I did want to debunk the rumors. You are not starting your spiritual journey. You are just becoming aware of it. There has never been an end. There has never been a beginning of your spiritual journey. Before you were even conceived, you were a plan. God had everything imagined for you already laid out for you. Creator, the universe. You already knew your mission before you came here. You were just having realizations that are connecting you to your higher self, okay? Don't be discouraged if um, you do find that you're, you're not knowing enough or you don't feel like you know enough or you don't feel like you understand it or people are using words and phrases and different um, ways that they're speaking and you're just... You know, in the beginning, it's kind of tough, but I promise just stick with it, keep with it, keep learning, keep adjusting, keep switching your paradigm, and eventually you're going to be, that is going to be who you are, okay? If that's what you desire. So these are five things that I wish I knew in the beginning of my spiritual awakening. First one was don't compare yourself. Do not compare yourself. Your beginning of your journey is not their end. There is no one through 10. There's no step-by-step -step instruction. There is no clear path of anybody's journey. So you might be watching videos and you might be um, looking at certain people and just wondering like, damn, I wish I knew as much as that person. Trust me, you will get there if that's where you are meant to go. Sometimes people learn different things because that's what they connect to. Certain people know everything from the back of their hand about every chakra. Certain people know everything about, you know, um, Law of Attraction and Neville Goddard. And, you know, different people were all here for different reasons. And never compare your day one to anybody's day 20 or anybody's year 30 because at the end of the day you might be able to teach that person something that might transform their life just because you received it and you understood it in a different way okay cool number two isolation of self in the beginning of your spiritual journey you're gonna find that you're not able to connect and you're not able to relate to a lot of people that you used to relate to a lot of the conversations might become redundant they're going to feel like a fucking drag you're gonna feel like yo like i can't stand to talk about this again like i don't want to hear about this again and it's going to cause you to retreat and it's going to cause you to you know fall into self get into that hermit mode where you're just protecting of your energy because you're ultimately shedding a new skin you're ultimately um becoming a new person you're going to have to break out of that eventually just remember don't 
go overboard with the constant protecting of your energy. Um, don't use that as an excuse to not grow. Don't use that as an excuse not like to not evolve and to not become the person that you're supposed to be. Triggers reveal the wounds that are necessary to heal. So if you're around somebody and you know certain things that they do, there's certain things that they say are not necessarily detrimental to your health, not necessarily to your physical, they're not meaning you any harm. They just have an energy that needs evolving. Understand that sometimes you might just have to learn to love them in a different way. Like it's not even on you, but just hold space for them. Hold space to understand that you are being triggered by certain people and you're not necessarily protecting your energy. You're protecting your energy to stay stagnant. Be aware of that. At what point does it get to a place where it's like, okay, I'm not even growing now because I'm okay with being here because it's safe. You feel me? So just stay in mind of isolation of self when you're on your spiritual journey. It is safe to stay with yourself especially when you get to a place where you just love yourself it's safe it's easy you know what's to come you know what's to expect just be mindful not to stay in that place too long okay um number three number three okay this is a practice 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 and practice never makes perfect practice makes what practice makes progress okay um Work at it as often as possible. Become the best version of yourself. Become the best version of the person that you are called to be. Practice who you are. You understand what I'm saying? When you go to school to become a doctor, when you're practicing medicine, it's a practice. When you go to school to become a lawyer, you're practicing the law. Use that same mentality, use that same mindset to practice your meditation, practice doing yoga, practice working out, practice learning about yourself. Just practice, practice, practice. This is number four. You are never finished healing. You are never done with healing. Everything that you're doing is going to always be on a continuous, continuous. Okay, the way that I like to compare um, healing Imagine you're looking at a magician. You know that trick the magicians do when they have that napkin and they pull it out and they keep pulling it and you think it's over and you keep pulling it and pulling it. That's literally what he, a visual representation of what healing looks like. Like no word of a lie. Once you think that you're over with, once you keep pulling and pulling, it, there's no end to it. There's no end to it. The beautiful thing is start learning that okay that doesn't hurt me as much that can't affect me as much and you're just pulling from the root you have to remember in order to heal you need to remove all of the debris all the gunk all of the dirt all of the grime everything that's in your system so just remind yourself that you are never starting from the beginning. You're literally just picking up where you left off. You're literally just picking up where you left off. If you are used to, if you are on a 21 day challenge, right? And you want to meditate every single day for 21 days, or you want to read a book every single day for 21 days, but one day you fell off or two days you weren't able to make it, just pick right back up. You don't lose the emotions in your body. You don't lose the practice. You don't use, lose the experience because you're starting again from your day one. When you look at the day and you're like, oh, it's September 1st and every single day for the month of September, I want to stick to this goal. I want to stick to this plan. I want to make sure I execute this. But one day, two days passes and you look at that and you're like, dang, it's September 4th, it's September 5th, it's September 7th, and I didn't fall through. I'm just going to let it go. You cannot have that mentality. You cannot have that mindset. You need to pick right back up where you left it at and just keep going. Just keep going. It's a practice, remember, okay? And you're never done learning and you're never done healing, okay? Number five. Number five is probably... Number five is bittersweet as hell. Have you ever heard that saying, like, if he knew better, he would do better. If he knew better, he would do better. Have you ever heard that? Yeah. Now that you know better, you have no excuse. Now that you know better, you have nothing but accountability because you have to become the person that you know that you are being called to. 
and it's bittersweet because before when you were unaware you could get away with the excuse of oh i didn't know but now that you know better now that god is in your ear now that the universe is literally talking to you directly and you're seeing the 444s and the 888s and you know that means something now that you're aware of it you have to continue you can't ignore it and i feel like for a little while like i was in a place where oh my god i don't want to know this stuff anymore i don't want to have this understanding but it does you no good to not know and you're here because you're able to reach and you're able to communicate and you know you know what you are fucking here for you know that you're here to do good you know that you're here to talk to the masses you know that you're here to change lives that's why you're watching this video that is why you're here that's why you clicked on this video that's why you've seen this video and you're watching all the way to the end because you know in your heart that you are here to change and honestly i'm so fucking happy for you this is just the beginning don't get discouraged hold it down pop no i'm joking but honestly you guys thank you so much for watching this entire video if you do like this video please like comment subscribe share and put on your post notifications because like i said this is the fourth day we are going strong the fourth day this is the fourth day we are going strong for the month of september all the way until the 30th let's see what's happening okay i am so grateful to be in alignment with you let's get it